He saved my soul. He saved my soul. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. I'll never forget. I'll never forget the day he came. The day he came. He makes me glad. He makes me glad. When I am sad. When I am sad. The dearest friend.
old age is stealing on, and my strength is almost gone. Hold to my hand, hold to my hand, dear Lord, I pray, dear Lord, I pray, surely Thou will never forsake, till in heaven I await. Lord, lead me on. Came to 
Father, as we come to you again this morning, Lord, we just thank you, God, for what we feel here today. Thank you for each one that's come this way, Heavenly Father, and we ask you, Lord, to be with each prayer request that went out. God, we know that through and by you is the only way, Heavenly Father, to reach, can reach heaven's shore, Heavenly Father, that you hung between the heavens and the earth on the old rugged cross that we might have everlasting life. God, we just couldn't praise your name enough. We couldn't thank you enough today for what we feel. God, we ask that you take the offering and use it in your what name and in your way, Heavenly Father, today. Go with us in the remaining of service, Lord, and have your will and just take a hold. As we lost one here, Heavenly Father, just bless them. Let them realize that doing by you, it don't cost nobody nothing, that you paid the price. You won the victory for us. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. As we travel through the desert, storms beset us by the way, but beyond the Lies a field of endless days. Farther on, still go farther. Count the milestones one by one.
Anybody else got a song on your heart? Josh, you got anything on your heart? Josh, your Rob said he wanted you to sing, he knows my name. Huh? Sing loud enough before I can hear you. come to see God move. Amen. Amen. This sister asked me to sing a song yesterday. I never got to it this busy. I'm not much of a singer this morning. My voice is just about gone. Uh, and I'll do my best. To do what I can for the Lord if you listen to words, not the way it might be sung. We just go on be do what God has for us to do. Amen. I don't know what you're here for this morning. Praise God, Jesus is here. Amen. Sometimes I don't understand why people even come to church. Amen. They come not even looking for anything from God. Amen. We ought to come this morning desiring from heaven, brother. Amen. From the throne room of God. We all pray this morning. I don't know I'm going to try this for you, sis. Everybody knows this song. You pray real hard. We need her spirit filled preacher. 
to teach us right and wrong. We need our old fashioned seeker who pray all night. We need some good gospel singers to help us go another mile. Then the church will try And go home in a little while. It'll be working after all. Child, it'll be working after all. After all of these trials, we'll hear Jesus call. He'll be working after all. Child. After all of this climbing, oh Lord, it'll be worth it after all. Now when you're down in the valley, oh, yeah. there is all I can do. Amen. Then the Lord sends me Now when you're up on the mountain and see me struggling along, lift my name up to Jesus. Let's help each other make it home. He'll be working after all. Child, he'll be working. After all of this climbing, oh Lord, he'll be worth it after all. Now when you're down in the valley, prayer is all I can do. Then the Lord sends deliverance. And his strength comes you. Now when you're up on the mountain and see me struggling along, lift my name up to Jesus. Let's help each other make it home. It'll be worth it after all. He'll be worth it after all. After all of these trials, we'll hear Jesus call. He'll be worth it after all. Child, he'll be worth it after all. After all of Climbing, oh Lord, he'll be worth it after all. Y'all pray just a few minutes. That's the more other thing in your mind. I ain't a bit jealous, man. I, I just come to see God move today. <laughs> I would like to say this. I'd like to bring on God just a little bit. Uh, I'm glad God's able to hear an answer prior. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be the first to tell all these young people in this church, I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm proud of what you're doing for Jesus. Amen. Amen. If nobody's ever told you they're proud of you, you go tell them that the preacher said, I'm proud of you. Amen. 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 
Uh, our young people, praise God, uh, just a few months ago, we've been talking about building on to this church, and you can see today we need some more room. We've been praying real hard about God just touching and having control in our lives in this little church, and been praying for God to touch. And just a few little while back, some of the young people in the church came to me and they said, Preacher, we want to help. And I said, Just go ahead. And they said, Well, God's been a dealing with us. We want to have a fundraiser. And I said, Well, I'm going to pray. And you pray before you do anything and let God lead you, amen, in everything you do. And I just turned them loose, amen. <laughs> And I'd like for Sister Vanessa to stand this morning and give a testimony for the Lord Jesus Christ and what God has done, amen, for our young children, amen, in this church. Go ahead, Sister, praise God, before we get started, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, it did. It just started as an idea, and several of us got together, and and it spread and spread and spread, spread to other states, wow. <laughs> spread, um, all across other counties and we had a wonderful turnout yesterday and all together we brought in another 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, $10, all the hands. And there's still some others that keep calling and still donate your money to us. So. People call from Maryland, they man said when we got ready to build the column, he's gonna take off work, take a leave of absence and come down and help build this church. And man, people all over this county are calling, praise God, saying they're gonna help us build this church. Amen. You see that's God working. Amen. Amen. I, I'm on if these youngins ain't got nothing on their mind, I'm gonna preach a little bit. You pray. I got this morning the scripture on my mind, amen. And, I hope and pray all these young preachers and Brother Harvey and, and Joe and the rest of them, praise God, know that there's not a jealous bone in my body. Amen. Praise God. That if God tells you to preach, you preach. If, if some of the rest of us got to preach, I was in this church one time, revival is preaching every corner. Amen. Praise God, there's enough room for all of us to preach if that's what God says to do. Amen. We want it old time. And praise God. We've been praying that God would send down the power as you did. Praise God. When the saints of old walked on this earth. Amen. We've been praying, praise God, in this little church that it gets so real that people could come in and be saved. Amen. And get what they need in the walk of life. Praise God. That it would get to where it be so real that the people would have to sit outside, sister and Look in the windows, amen. How many's looked over to the hear, amen? Honey, that's got to work in this morning. We want to see it old timey. Us as God's children, going to have to walk old timey, amen. We're going to have to get in the way of God and seek the way of God. Amen. 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 Praise God, bro. Amen. 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 We're going to see things happen. We're going to have to walk the way God said to walk. Can right. I get an amen? amen? The Bible said to seek out the old pipes. Yeah. Ask yeah. for them. Amen. And when you find them, to walk in them. Amen. amen. And you'd have rest for your souls. Yeah. He didn't say just find it, walk off and leave it. He said to get in it. Amen. Yeah. And walk by the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Modern day religion will teach you anything you want to know to supply, to just satisfy the flesh. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. I'm going to preach a little. You pray. Amen. I've had this on my mind for weeks. Amen. I got up this morning. This scripture just eats my mind up. Amen. Over, right, amen. If you will, go with me to the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew. Praise God. Very familiar scripture. And I began to think about the old men of God. Amen. <laughs> Begin to think about the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. Gee, my God, sister, I can't hardly stand it sometimes. Begin to think about how they prayed, how they lived. Do you know the Bible said that this book was inspired by the Holy Ghost? Yeah. 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 And it was written down by devout me. Can I get an amen? amen? You know what devout means? It means devoted. Hallelujah. Amen. Made a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Made a commitment and was devoted. Amen. To God Almighty. Praise God. When the God began to move upon them, they lived their life for Jesus. I'm going to preach a little. Praise God. They live according to what God's Word and the commandments of God. Amen. The Bible amen. said this. Amen. 
we say anything we want to to the world. You can convince them of anything, but it's a little harder to convince God's people, amen, of what you believe. Because the Bible said this, Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments, amen. And He told them in the Word of God, He said, they that say they love Him, and keep not His commandments as a liar, and the truth's not in the Bible. Joshua told the people, he said, Choose you this day in whom you'll serve. As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Amen. Have your minds made up. Has anybody got your mind made up? You're going to live for God. Amen. Hey, praise God. Look out. The devil's going to have a hard time here. Amen. My God, bless you. Joshua told the people, they said, we'll serve the Lord. Amen. He said, you can't serve God. God's a jealous God. He's a righteous God. Huh? Right. They said, but we'll serve the Lord. And he said, all right, your lives will be a witness to you and to whom you serve. Amen. Yep. Over in the New Testament, the Bible said, amen, we don't have to judge nobody. I don't even have to look at them to tell much about it. Amen. Say, so, preacher, amen, what are you talking about? The Bible said that I will know you by the fruit you bear. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. Now, I'm going to preach a little something that's steadfast. The world don't like this, brother. Amen. It's modern day religion don't like this. But I'm going to tell you, you know, everybody says everything that they want to hear and they'll make an if, ands, and a but about everything but this and but that preacher. Amen. But I'm only human. I, amen. The Bible said, Amen. The grace of God that appeared to all men uh, that brought salvation appeared to all men. Uh, amen. Teaching us how amen to nine ungodly lust, how to live soberly uh, and righteously uh, in this present world. Uh, the Bible said to present your body a, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. Yeah. Hey, unto God, which is your reasonable service. God didn't ask you something that you couldn't do, amen. He said, My commandments are not grievous. I tell these young men all the time, they'll tell you. You can't live for God to live like hell. Amen. If I told you not. You can't do the things of the world and worship God. Amen. I'm going to preach a little bit. I began to think about the children of God and the men of God. And what they give up for the cause of Christ. Did you know, brother, and I know you do, but when Jesus went over and He started choosing the disciples for the work of God, you see, praise God, they didn't just decide. They was chosen by God, hand-picked. Do you realize this morning, church, every child of God that's sitting under the sound of my voice and around this building this morning, it ain't just a coincidence, amen, that God's come to you. Praise God, and you're sitting in this house this morning. It ain't just a myth or just a coincidence. Do you realize that the Holy Ghost of God has searched the corridors of this life and has picked you, amen. Hey, praise God. He must have seen something that was worth having. He wasn't a chosen, amen. Can I get an amen? He said, God told you. You didn't choose Him, but God picked you, amen. Now that makes me excited. I don't know about everybody else. Amen. Happy Lord. Come on. The devil will lead you to believe you're worthless and you're no good. Uh -huh. Come on. Bless him, Lord. Whether you're here this morning, you're lost, or you're, whether you're saved, God loves you. Amen. 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 I thank God that God loves us. Amen. Amen. Many a time in my life, brother, that the preachers drove by me and me passed out in the ditch line right here on Little Horse Creek. Nobody ever stopped and told me about Jesus. Nobody told me that God loved me. Nobody ever invited me to church. Till one Sunday evening, I got an invitation out of the throne room, throne room of heaven, amen. And praise God, I ain't been the same since, sister. When the world and the preachers gave up on me, honey, Jesus Christ died on Calvary, amen. And I could be set free and have life everlasting. Praise God, that means something to me. I don't know about you. Hey, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. 
made something to me. Yeah. Anybody? That's right. Amen. Even when, praise God, people talk about us and put us down and judge us unrighteously. Praise God, sister, God still loves us. Amen. Amen. Praise God, Jesus will look over to the Father. He said, that's my child. Amen. Praise God, send the little Holy Ghost to Him. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hey, Lord, thanks for praying this to me. Bless you, I thought a long time about why in this world God had saved me, much less called me to preach. Took me a long time, sister, ever figure out what my part with this thing was. Now I know. God chose me to preach in the last moments of time, praise God, and I'm here this morning. And I'm not here to play games. Praise God, I'm here to preach the gospel, amen. We're going to have church, amen, if you'll turn loose and listen. I promise you that. Amen. The Word of God's not changed. People's changed, amen, but God's still the same. Amen. In Him there's no shadow of turning. The Bible said the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Can I get an amen? Come on, praise God. Amen. Praise God. You know how you'll win people to the Lord? By living for Jesus. Amen. Honey, not being wishy-washy. Amen. But just standing firm on the Word of God. Amen. Praise God. Let people know that you're not a playing. A game, amen, in this world's a playing. You're not in religion, amen. But you're not salvation. And salvation's of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thought about it, Brother Josh. As God began to call the disciples. And I remember what Jesus said. Now listen to me good. Jesus told him over there, he said, come and follow me. He said, I'll make you fishers of men. Amen. 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 He chose those men to change lives in this world. My God, can't you see? God has chosen you to make a difference in this world. God has chosen us as a people of God to stand up in the United States and say, Hey, I am the redeemed. Amen. I've been born again. Hallelujah. And I don't care if the world goes crazy. I'm going to stand with Jesus. I'm going to stand on what's right. Hey, praise God. I'm going to preach it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bring it, brother. Am I? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I gotta get through this. I'm looking for somebody that's got their mind made up. Bless him, old Yeah. Come on, brother. I'm looking for somebody, praise God, that wants to change a life. You know what it took for me? Being sick of who I was. Right. Sister, you know what it took for me? Being sick of my surroundings. You know what it took for me, praise God, young people? Was praise God waking up one morning and being tired of being sick on a hangover for weeks, amen. I'm sick of it. Got tired of it. And I desired a better life. And praise God when you decide you want out of it. Honey, I know a man that can get you there. And his name is Jesus. Does anybody know my best friend? Amen. God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, God. Hey, testimonies all over this earth. I ain't a preaching religion. I'm preaching salvation. Amen. Glory to God. Let me preach this way. Come on, brother. You're up here, do you, bro? I found out people's hung. They're stuck in religion. These religions on every hand, praise God, will tell you you'll be all right with anything you do. Anything acceptable into this world. There's a young man even come into our workplace one morning and he screamed out, Man, I don't know why they pick me out, amen. They just pick on me all the time. But after they do, they find out they better leave me alone, amen. Because I'm not, I'm not wishy was. I'll stand on this book, amen. What are you with me or what are you? The book will stand for itself. But this old boy come in, he hollered at me, he said, Preacher! I've got this thing fixed, amen. I know what we need. I said, you're wrong. He said, don't jump on me yet. Just wait till I tell you. I said, I'm going to tell you right now. 
Amen. If you've got it figured out, you're wrong. Amen. Come on, praise God. He said, I'll tell you what we need is one more religion. I said, I told you, praise God, you're wrong. The last thing we need is more religion. Can I get an amen? He said, I'm telling uh, he said, listen to me. He said, wait a minute before you jump on me. He said, I'm talking about Jesus. I said, I told you he was wrong and I still say you're wrong because Jesus Christ is not a religion. He is salvation and has been brought down from God out of heaven. Amen. It's Him that will make new creature out of you. Amen. That's right. Right. It's Jesus that will cause you to style the honky tonks, amen, and run with the preacher, amen. amen. It's Him, amen, that will cause you to lay the liquor bottle down and go to drink it from the hand of God. It's Jesus, amen. Can I get him, amen? Church, does anybody know what I'm talking about? Come on, praise God. Yeah, yeah. 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 I began to have a vision this morning. I began to pray early. Way, hey amen. I've been wore out, mate. Man. Praise God. Now listen. I began to see some things, hey amen. And praise God, God began to deal with my heart, and I'm gonna preach a little bit. Hey Amen. You think it's a good hey Amen, it's so easy. Hey Amen, everybody in this world, everybody in this church house has struggled with something in this life. Can I get an amen? amen. Praise God, come on. Sometimes some of this stuff dealing with the flesh is hard to overcome. Can I get an amen? amen. The Bible didn't say it'd be an easy way. Hey Amen. The Bible didn't say, praise God, hallelujah, that you'd have peaches and cream and shine and, bread and smile right on through this world. But the Bible said they that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. amen. Endurement. Hey man, sometimes it's not easy. Praise God, that's a reason he said it was endurement. Hang on just another day, child of God. We're almost home, amen. Praise God. I thought about all these young people to give their life to the Lord. You know what our job is? It's not throw them away when they fail. But to pick them up and teach them how man how to get back on the right road and walk it. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. Praise God, brother. Amen. In the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew, I want to read to you. Down to 24th verse. God being my helper, I'll preach this a little bit. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo! I'm excited about this thing. God is good. Praise God. Can you understand it, Rob? What would it be, amen, if somebody didn't steal away in the middle of the night? Praise God and pray for us. Amen. I always knew. Amen. Praise God. When you was out there in that world, and praise God, amen, it looked pretty grim. Amen. I'll be the first to tell you. Amen. A time or two, I thought, praise God, my prayer would be wasted. Amen. Every once in a while when I talk to you, I could see the glimmer of God in your eyes. And I'd see a tear well up. And God would say, don't quit praying. Just hang on a little longer. Amen. Pray be unto God. And that Sunday morning, you called my name. Hey, call me in my house. Amen. Praise God. I know you determined. I, God said he's on his way. Amen. And he's here this morning. Glory to the Lamb of God. Praise God. Does anybody know him? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I watched these young people yesterday. I stand back and I watch them. How they dealt with people, how they loved people, and how they conducted their self in this world. Paul he made me cry. I told a young man the other day, Jeff, I, I told him, I said, my greatest fear would be that I'd leave my congregation and God take me home and they wouldn't be ready to walk on with Himself. I said, Sister, I can go on home to be with Jesus and not worry about this bunch, amen. Praise God for these some young ones right in here, amen, and some older ones, amen, that's carrying the cross, that's carrying Jesus, amen. I'm going to preach just a little. Amen, this is what he said now, church, listen to me. 
24th verse of the, of the 16th chapter of the book of Matthew. And he said, Then Jesus, and then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Amen. They've got so many people. Sister, don't even understand what that means in the Word of God. Hey man, I'm going to listen. Hey, I'm going to preach a little. What it means to bear the cross of Calvary. Amen. Hey man, that cross that Jesus hung on for the sins of this world. Amen. Praise God, listen to me. He said, let every man that follow me deny himself. Yeah. Take up his cross and follow me. Uh, yeah. yeah. Listen to me. I'm going to slow down. That cross that Christ said to take up is to crucify the flesh. That's right. Amen. Lust there all. Come on. Can I get it? Amen. 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 Amen, brother. Huh? Come on. Amen, Lord. Come on, preach. He said to pick it up and carry it. It's to crucify the flesh. And the lust thereof. The Bible teaches me, he said, to walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Can I give an amen? Hey! Praise God, Apostle Paul began to cry out to God. Amen. The Bible said Paul had a thorn in the flesh. Amen. And it was in his flesh. Amen. You know what it was? It was a temptation to the flesh. Amen. Paul wasn't a married man. Amen. Pray, listen to me. I'm going to preach a little. Amen. The Bible said the devil came and he buffeted Paul with that thorn. Amen. And Paul began to pray that God Almighty would remove that thorn. And God looked at him and he said, but grace is sufficient. Amen. Praise God. I don't care what you face in life the grace of God will take you through it. can I get an amen but praise God you're going to have to do your part that's right Bible said to let him take up his cross and follow me amen if you're going to walk with Jesus you're going to have to bear the cross amen Come on. That's right, bro. What does that mean, preacher? That means, praise God, if you love Him, hey, you'll live for Him. Amen. Amen. Our life will tell the people in this world who we belong to. Amen. Now I'm going to Amen. preach something that's a steadfast. Amen. Praise God, most people don't like it and they don't want you to preach it in their church. Hey, I've been took around the church more times than once, but the Word of God, amen, still standing and it's still firm. I'm going to tell you something about the fruits, amen. He said if we had known by the fruits, amen, are you ready? Hey, I'm going to ask you a question, church, and we're going to go on for Jesus. Amen. When God's Word says, it cannot happen. <laughs> When God's Word says it cannot happen, that means it's impossible. Somebody ain't agreeing with me. Come on. When God said in His Word that it cannot happen, what does that mean? That means it will not, cannot, amen, it's impossible for it to happen. Am I, come on, do you believe in the real God? Amen. I believe in the real God. Amen. You know what the Bible says, amen? amen? A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Amen. 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 And the Bible says, neither can. An evil tree bring forth good fruit. Can I get an amen? But in the Bible says, where your treasures are, your heart will be also. An amen. Woo! What a man's heart's full of, his mouth will speak abundantly of. Hallelujah. <laughs> That cuts out two fans and butts, don't it? Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Bring him, brother. <laughs> brother got to reading in, in Sunday school learning. I was about to get stirred up and I was trying to keep from 
can't hardly do it sometimes. <laughs> Talked about the seed of Abraham. Do you know there's a religious crowd there in the Word of God, amen, just like it is in this world. Now here we are. You don't have to like me. God didn't say you'd like me. I told my wife a long time ago when you were just a little boy, praise God, when God called me to preach, I said, our life is not going to be a popularity contest. <laughs> they didn't like me when I was a lost sister, and praise God, they don't like me while I'm a preacher either. Amen? Come on. Amen? This ain't popular. Can I get an amen? But this will get you there. Glory! It'll get you there, bro. Over in the Word of God, there's a religious crowd come to Jesus. And they said, Our father's Abraham. Jesus said, If Abraham had been your father, you'd do the works of Abraham. Can I get an amen? Woo! Pretty plain, ain't it? If Abraham was their father, they'd have done the works of Abraham. Can I get an amen? amen. But he said you do the works of your father and he's a devil, amen. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Oh, yeah. And Jesus told him plainly, he said if I'd say I'm the son of God and do not the will of God, he said I am as ye are, a liar, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Let's see more. I'm going to put it right down there. It's a brother you say where the rubber meets the road. Amen. If you say you're a child of God and you're not living for God, then you're a liar. Amen. More dollars, I got took behind the church for that statement too. Amen. There's a preacher told me, praise God, you can't call people a liar out of the pulpit. I said Jesus called them a liar in the Word of God. Amen. Can I get it? Amen. Praise God, brother. It's time somebody stands up and takes God's part. The Bible said to lift up the standards in the house of God. Amen. And all the world might know. Hallelujah! You stand there in the house of God. Hey, come on, preach, brother. Amen. You want to be blessed? Live for God. Amen. You want to change lives? Live for Jesus. Amen. I'm excited. I can hold on. You know what hurts me the worst? That the Lord Jesus Christ got enough confidence in you that He'd save your soul. And then you just go along with anything. Amen. Amen. Breaks my heart, Jamie. <coughs> it just about breaks my heart, praise God, to know I fail somebody, but when I fail God, it kills me. Because He done it all for me. I want to do something for Him. I'm going to carry my cross. I'm going to be a soul winner. Can I give an amen? Amen. Huh? amen? You ain't going into the prisons, brother, to tell them what God done for you for a man's self esteem. That's right, brother. Amen. amen. That's you right. know what God done in that jail cell over yonder when they had you up for all the drug charges amen. and the things of this life? Amen. amen. Praise amen. God. He looked down out of heaven. Amen. He said, I believe I think on Kenny Barr. And I changed somebody's life. He'll carry the cross. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I pray for these boys. I pray for them. And scared you to death sometimes, didn't you? <laughs> you seen God move, didn't you? And I pray for them. I'm going to tell you this again in here. Hey, I love it. I do love it. And you know what my prayers are for these young men? That God would anoint their life with such power in the, power in, in the Lord Jesus Christ that they could change lives. Amen. Amen. That people could right. see them walking down the street and they'd say, what's the matter with that crazy fellow? Hey, something changed about him. Amen. 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 Praise God. I don't understand, but something got a hold of him. He don't even talk like it. Yeah, I got a call last 
He didn't really understand how much power God had when you first come to the altar, did you? <laughs> One night, I'll never forget it, it was his birthday. And I was praying out at the house and I told him, I said, you better tell him to come on up to the preacher's house. Eat ice cream and cake. He didn't come. So I began to pray. And I told my wife, I said, he's messed up. I said, I began to pray and I said, he's messed up. I said, I'm going to pray. And I began to pray, Jeff. And I asked God, I said, God, if he belongs to you, I said, do something for this preacher. I said, wire him out. <laughs> Amen. If he ain't worried on me, say you do that, preacher, you better believe it. Yeah. Amen. I'm the type of fellow, praise God, if you ain't living right and you belong to God, I'll ask God to turn your house upside down. Amen. Yeah. Praise God to get you back where you need to be. I ain't got time to play. You see, I need this boy with the power of God in his life. I need all these young men. Yeah. I need all this congregation. Yeah. I'm getting prayed. Yeah. About a week later, you called my house, didn't you? Broken hearted, wasn't you? Bear blue, brother. Heaven <laughs> fell on you, didn't you? Lost everything. Beat up, guy. Sin took it all, didn't you? Tore it down. Amen. Praise God. He called me and he said, I just want you to know I messed up. I said, I already know it. I know that the other night I've been a praying. Amen. Ain't that what I told you? I've been a praying. Amen. I've been a waiting on something to come out of his mouth. I told God, I said, I need to know something. He said, I want you to know. He said, I've got my mind made up. He said, praise God. He said, I want to live for God. I said, I've been a waiting. Amen. Praise God to hear it. Amen. I ain't saying he ain't gonna mess up. I ain't saying he ain't gonna fall. <laughs> it's good to see so much a try. Say, preacher, you crazy. I said that to say this. I got a phone call last night. Somebody you didn't even know about. Sometimes I wonder when they get away from me what they're doing. And I ask God sometimes, I said, God, don't show me. I don't want to know. I said, I need a little reinsurance, Lord. I need to know something. Got a phone call last night, and there's a young lady. There's a funeral. This brother began to mention about his uncle dying, and he went to the viewing the other night. And she's amazed. She called and she said, I don't want to, I, I just want to know what's going on up coming. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? She said, I was at a viewing the other night, and she said, I kept hearing somebody testifying for Jesus. And she said they was inviting people to come to that church. And said so they kept telling them how good God was. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And she said, I couldn't understand. She said, I've heard that voice before. She said, I eased around and got to looking. And she said, I could not believe my eyes. It was B.J. Fields. I'm telling somebody about Jesus. Amen. Hey, praise God. And just to hear him talk about an almighty God changed people's mind in that funeral home. Amen. Honey, let me tell you something. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We get down to the river's edge and we cross over. Go home, sister. You know what I see? A whole pile of crosses of self denial. They're on this side of the river. Amen. Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. Let me tell you something, young man. You throw all this world away and you live for Jesus. You don't see you care about anybody else? Is there anybody in this world you care about? Amen. Anybody you love? 
Anybody? Praise God, that person, do it for them. Carry it for them. That they know that there's a way from here to glory. Amen. You know why I try to live as close as I can for God, Brother Josh? Amen. For your children. For these children. Amen. For these young people in this church. Amen. Have you ever thought about anybody else? What will it do to all the people you know? Amen. If you lay down the cross and go to living like the world. He'll tear them down, amen. And they won't have no confidence in nobody or nothing in this world. It'll be hard to ever convince them that Jesus Christ is the right way after you do that, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Any man follow me, lay him deny himself. Take up your cross and follow me. Brother Alan, it's not about me. It's about Jesus. Amen. 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 I give it all up. I give it all up. My family. My mom. My dad. Amen. And I've been walking for Jesus. And so far in 19 years, Brother Jeff, actually God's always took care of it. He took care of it, didn't He? Amen. When we pray, brother, we see God move, don't we? Amen. You know what these young people need to see? God move. Amen. They need somebody to walk in front of that they can see the evidence of God in your life. You look out. The wind are blowing. I can tell you stuff, folks. God just... I don't even know what I'm saying. Somebody get you a song. If today's the last day in this world, where do you stand with God? Amen. Where do you want to be with God? Lordy, days years ago, and I remember this young man right here. I may be picking on him today, I don't know, but I've seen every bit in his life. I seen the law. I tried to chase him back. I was there, wasn't I? I rode my horse in the middle of the road so they couldn't catch him. Say, preacher, you done that? I did. I didn't want them to take him to jail. I had something to say. So did you do that? I did. You see, he had to run that day. But now when he sees him pull in, he don't have to run anymore. Can I get an amen? He don't have to hide anymore. He can hold his head up because all that's behind him and he's legal, amen. Can I get an amen? Praise God, I'm telling you, it feels good not to have to run when you see him coming, brother. I've had to hit the bush and I've had to run from you. Hey, listen, I just sat back and said, praise God, I'm justified in the Lord Jesus Christ. My name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You don't have to run if you're not guilty. Amen. I may be the craziest preacher you've ever met. Lord, it sure feels good when you walk down the street and hold your head up. Amen. Knowing that, praise God, everything's all right. Now there's some things, sister, in my past I had to work out after I got saved and I had to get them straightened out. Amen. So will you. Amen. And I'm going to hurt. Rex, get you a song. Praise God, I'm going to give you an opportunity to pray. I know it's crowded. But I promise you, if you need to pray this morning, then we'll make room. We'll fold these chairs up and we'll make room. Have you got your mind made up? So preacher, I'd like to make a difference in this world. The Bible said in myself I can do nothing. But through Christ Jesus who strengthens 
to me. He said all things can be done. My God today. Woo! Can't you feel it? Do you need to pray? Come on. Did you need to pray? There's no other place to go but Jesus. Has God been touching your heart? Don't you realize God is touching you because He needs you? He loves you. He's got a place for you. I preached a message in this church one time about being a misfit of God. Amen. A misfit is something that's been broken and thrown aside. Hey, God much use for something that's been broken. But I thank God that Jesus Christ has got a use for those that's been broken. And He's got a place for them in His kingdom, Brother Sonny. God's got a place in the house of God for all those misfits. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's getting glory. Gentile race of people. He said, I'll get me a people. He told him he'd get glory from them people. Bro. The lost ones, the ungodly, the ones that had no hope. Hey, he sent them in to bring them out. Praise God that when they came out, God got the glory. Praise God to him. And nobody thought was able to be saved. Amen. Woo! You need to pray, praise God. While these children are praying, you come on. My God, come on. Praise God. Okay. Okay. You need to probably get you another song. Get you another song. The rest of my life, as short as it may be, praise God, I want to live my life for Jesus. I want to make a difference. Come on. Come on. I want to spend the rest of my days preaching, making a difference in this world. Come on. Come on. I want to take what God's given me and change life. Come on. My God. Woo! Come on! 